Oh, so in this YouTube video, I'm going to be talking about what to expect in your first boxing match. I know a lot of you are probably nervous and rightfully so. There's a lot to expect. There's going to be a lot of emotions. Your emotions are going to go up and they're going to go down, leading up to the fight as well as in the fight. And I'm going to be talking about how to overcome those barriers. You're also going to be boxing differently than how you box in training. I promise you that. You're not, it's not going to be a chess match. It's going to be a bit different. And I'm going to explain later and explain how to overcome that. Also, your opponent is going to be very different. It's most likely his first fight, his second fight, his third fight. So he's not going to be as experienced and he's going to be doing similar things to what you're going to be doing. And I'm going to tell you how to overcome it in order that you get the one up on him. You get the victory. This is me in my first boxing match. And this is me in one of my most recent boxing matches. And now I've come a long way, I'm two-time London champ, I've won international tournaments, I've boxed all over the country, boxed with Team GB, sparred with the top pros, the top amateurs, and that's only because I'm gonna, I've been doing the things I'm going to tell you in this video. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a mental hack, we're going to go over the mental side. When you go into that fight, you are going to be nervous, you're going to be thinking about the crowd, you're going to be thinking about the opponent, and in my personal experience, what I've noticed is that most people are not even scared about getting hurt. They're scared about getting embarrassed and getting humiliated. So what I did when I first boxed, my coach, my Sifu, um, Sifu Mark Davis, he told me, when you walk into that ring, do not look left. This is my right, by the way, but it's your left. Do not look right. Just look straight into the ring and maybe you can look at your opponent if you want. Apart from that, don't worry about who's there. Don't worry about your family. Don't worry about your friends. Don't worry about the crowd. Don't worry about his opponents. That way you just shut everything out. Tunnel vision. It's you and your opponent now. If anything, it's just you. It's not even your opponent. He's just someone standing in your way. And if you can get that mental, that mindset of it's just me, it's just him, it's not nobody else, you'll perform way better because you won't be performing to them. You're not going to be hitting someone and thinking, oh, did they see that? You're not going to be getting hit and thinking, oh, I need to get it back so it doesn't look bad. You don't want to be in that mindset because then you're going to be throwing punches. You don't want to throw. You're going to be even more nervous and you're going to waste so much energy. So that's the first thing you need to do. When you go into that ring, do not look at anyone. And obviously, if people talk to you, you can interact with them. But don't put too much weight on it. Just focus on the fight. It's just you. At the end of the day, it's just you in the ring. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the nerves and how it's going to make you more fatigued and actually take away your fitness. You are going to be so nervous in the fight, or some, some of you may not, but most of you will be so nervous in the fight that it's going to drain a lot of your energy. So you're not going to be as fit as you may be in your sparring sessions. So you have to take that into consideration. So what I'm going to tell you to do is train extra hard on your fitness. There's no escape in this point. Train extra hard. So your fitness is here, in the fight it's going to go to here. So you need to train here to get your fitness to here, so it comes down to here. It comes down to the level that you're used to. So work extra hard on your fitness. Do not skip this step. This is so crucial because if you are tired in the fight, it's done. There's a quote that says, fatigue makes a coward of us all. You can be hurt, you can be scared, but if you're tired, <laughs> I'm telling you, the only time I've been in real trouble and I felt like I can't do this anymore is when I'm tired. Anything else, I'm good, I'm smooth, crystal, I'm easy. Anything else, calm. But when you're tired, long day. So make sure you're extra fit before the fight. All right, so the now we're going to talk about the actual physical part of the fight. So you, because you're so nervous and because you're so apprehensive and it's your first time, you've got no experience or little experience, you're not going to use a lot of the things you use in your training sessions. It's going to go out the window. You're not going to be able to think straight. So my advice, and I'm telling you, it's not even advice. You have to do this. Keep it as simple as possible. What do I mean by simple? Straight punches. Don't be... Oh, 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 oh. No, none of that. Simple. One, two. Basic fundamentals. You won't forget the basics. And that's why you must train the basics repetitively in your training. So when it's in the time to fight, it's there, it's there. Boom. You're going to be throwing the basics smooth, clean. So that's what I want you guys to do. Focus on the basics. Don't do no, don't focus on these little tricks before the fight, a week before the fight. Forget about that. Just focus on the fundamentals, the basics, and your feet. So now we're going to go to your opponent. Your opponent is going to be very aggressive and he's going to be the same as you. So he's going to be wild punches, orthodox. So your best bet is not to swing and fight back to him. It's going to be a 50-50 fight. You don't want to get into a fire fight. 
All I'm telling you guys to do in this fight, in your first fight or in your first five fights, your first ten fights, just take a step back. So when he's doing no, he's doing this macho macho thing, take a step back, eliminate the danger. If you stay there and you try to fight with him, you might hit him, he might hit you. It's not worth it. You don't, and you're gonna get tired. So at least that way, you give yourself some space and you can pop, pop, go back to your boxing. Do you get what I mean? So make sure you use your feet in order to create that space. I have a chess boxing course called Chess Boxing One on One. And in the second lesson, we talk about the greatest defense in boxing. We break down how footwork is used in order to overcome any attack. So this, um, so this is what I'm just, I'm just touching on it now, but use that in the fight. Make sure you use your feet against your opponent and make sure you keep it simple when you are attacking him. Wow, so that's the lesson done. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. I have a full chess boxing course called Chess Boxing 101, which teaches you how to win boxing matches. I've done it myself, other people have done it. So if you want to win your first 10 fights, click the link down below and you will see all the secrets of chess boxing. Bosh.